again this time. Open the show, show it to me, Yasser. Oh no, Yasser, another cavity? You haven't been brushing, have you? Sorry, Mom. I'm Fariha, the mom. I'm Salman, the dad. I am Yasser, the one with the cavity. Today we are discussing a rising problem in our community with children. According to statistics, tooth decay has become the number one chronic disease in children in the entire world. This is a big issue due to the children eating candy, eating a lot more junk, and not ensuring proper oral care. Kids as young as six years old are heading to the dentist for toothache, for cavity filling, and for root canals. But proper brushing can surely help avoid all of these problems. Let's go ask the community dentist. how are you? Hi, how are you? I'm fine. Statistics show that children are more prone to chronic tooth decay now than ever. More than ever. Have you seen an increase in kids coming in with tooth decay? Yes, of course. Uh, because, uh, you know, uh, tooth decay, especially in children, leads uh, to a decay in the permanent dentition. If uh, you have a tooth decay, and uh, like if you are ignoring this, so it means that you are uh, going to kill your tooth yourself. So uh, the tooth brushing uh, is the major uh, like tool to prevent the tooth decay. If you are How long should a child brush? Like two minutes, five minutes? Three minutes? In between two to five minutes. A proper brushing. But during the we surveyed a hundred people and we realized that over 70% of the parents were not satisfied with the way their children were brushing. Our solution is to create a long-sustaining habit for children like me to develop early learning and track brushing behavior. Hence comes the cavity pressure, pressure or the C-square. We created a device that will monitor the brushing behavior of the child and ensure good oral hygiene. So this is how our device works. The device will detect the usage of the toothbrush and the toothpaste by the child. The device which also gives us the time the child takes to brush his teeth and then sends a message with the timing to the parents. AI or artificial intelligence comes in super handy. It will detect the brush being lifted, the toothpaste used, the time it takes for the child and it will judge that if the child has properly lifted the brush, used it for the correct time, it will then send the message so the parents would know if the child has done adequate brushing for the day or not. We trained our model and we put in numbers, which, are, which is the time in seconds it takes for brushing, and then to generate the results for adequate brushing. We then tested our model by putting in the appropriate time in seconds it, it takes to brush the teeth properly and see if the child has done his brushing properly or not. We created the data set by researching the average time it takes for a child to brush his teeth. We found that there is no such app or device like ours that is readily available in Karachi, Pakistan. So our, so our idea is unique. Phew! Problem solved. AI can make our lives better, creating lifelong habits and sustainable solutions. We can always upgrade our prototype and increase more features to make it easier to use, like creating an app that tracks monthly brushing. Thank you for watching. Keep brushing.